Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I just want to say thank you guys so much. We actually hit 300 plus. Thank you, thank you guys so much and we're only going to keep grinding for more. Today's project is going to be getting rid of all that chrome, the one that I talked about in a couple videos ago. And we're just going to black it out. I got my film ready. I went ahead and picked up some satin black. I got my glove, my squeegees, my spray bottles ready to go to prep the car. And just to show you guys again what I'm going to be wrapping, it's going to be this whole chrome trim that for some reason they left the chrome I still don't understand why but it doesn't go with this doesn't match with this doesn't match with this doesn't match with this and especially with the lights being blacked out now and I'm doing the dark tint I just want everything to have that black and white color match the SI I really don't mind it might have a little chrome but you can't really deal with that but I like the SI emblem I never want to take that one off I'm considering either removing this one or blacking it out in the future because I know I do sell the black letters and this one I have to get rid of too but we'll save that for later. Through inspecting the chrome it looks like it's pretty easy to do just straightforward. I'm just going to go ahead and measure it, cut out my pieces of the black just so I don't have to have that whole big old piece and start trimming as I go. If you guys are wanting to try this and are wondering where can I get the film from, I always recommend Metro Restyling. I don't have any type of affiliation with them but that's where I always usually get my vinyl from whether it be the wrap that I use to do my tail lights, the wrap that I do on all my vehicles that I wrap in the future, people's car, customer's car, I always get it from Metro Restyling. It's a really good website and once you you order anything over a hundred dollars they go ahead and give you free shipping just so I reiterate what color I went it's gonna be the satin black I was originally gonna go with matte black but I like the satin black because it has a little bit of shine but not crazy where it just looks all glossy and it's gonna look off from the other pieces and it should just be a pretty close match I'm gonna go ahead and get started prepping the vehicle so I want to start with this piece and I found this little scrap, so I'm gonna try to work with it. I know that usually you have to curve it, and it doesn't, the film doesn't really like to, to curve too much because you're gonna lose some tension. But I'll try to make it work, just so you know, conserve film. The way that I prep my cars usually is just rubbing alcohol in the towel. If you guys don't have rubbing alcohol, then just make sure you use something that just gets rid of all the little contaminants in the, in the chrome or whatever piece you're working on. The alcohol, the reason why it's used too is because it helps the adhesive stick a little bit better. So, yeah, looks like we made it work. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my heat gun real quick. Grab my, grab my heat gun and my squeegee just so I can make it, so I can make sure it's laid down. Your main focus is that you don't want to leave any like creases in the film. And if you do, just make sure you put some heat on it to get rid of it first. Because you want it to look old hand. You don't want it to look like you. You, you wrap. Okay, so it looks like the film is already laid down flat on the outside. I'm going to go over it Once you have your film all laid down, all you're really going to do is try to get your you can use a fingernail or you can use a squeegee if you have it. Just make sure you go behind the film. Make it go across like that. So that way you get coverage all the way and you're not cutting right on the chrome. You can cut actually behind it. Like I said in my last video, is just keep your blade pretty, pretty short so that way you're not risking cutting anything else. Follow the edge behind it. To make it a little bit easier, you can actually pull out this, which is just kind of like the gasket behind it. It's pretty simple to put back, so that way you don't cut into it. You 
again, all I'm doing is rubbing it in, making sure it's tight. My, my blade is just gliding behind it. Cut. Come into the edge right here, the very corner, just peel it back a little bit, the gasket, and cut. There we go. For the bottom, there's an indentation, so you guys can just use that. So I finished up the rest of it. It looks like it's all laid down flat now, pretty much in this area right here. To make it really, let me see if it'll focus on you guys. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to heat it really well right here. Use your squeegee edge to make an indentation. Stick your blade in there, just barely stick it out and just follow it all the way down. Then once you get into here, you're going to do the same thing. Just be a little bit more careful because there's another type of rubber right here. So just make sure that you heat it, make an indentation with your squeegee and put your blade in there. It's really simple. And then this section is where it gets a little tricky. You don't really have a rubber right here. You can't really trim on the rubber in the case is. If I peel it up a little bit. The chrome actually goes behind that plastic. So what I suggest is kind of doing the same thing. I grab my heat gun real quick. Just heating that little area. Okay, once it's heated up. Grab your squeegee. Make a nice indentation right there. See how it kind of outlines exactly where it needs to go. I grab our blade. I'm gonna grab our blade, stick it out a bit. And the goal here is just to not have any of that chrome exposed. So we're just gonna do a small slice following the inside of that plastic. Okay. There we go. And no chrome was exposed. Oops. Just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and heat this down. So I'm going to go ahead and heat this down, make sure everything's laid down flat, and show you guys the end result. All right, guys, here's the before and after. Damn. See, why didn't they make it this from from factory? Why do they have to put the chrome? I still just makes. I, I swear, I swear, I've seen sport model Civics that just come like that from the factory, and they had to give us chrome. The chrome doesn't make it any cooler. <laughs> I mean, some people like chrome, just not my taste. This piece seems like it's pretty easy. The one that I seem that feels like it's gonna be a little bit more difficult is right here. Just trying to get it in between this without cutting into this or scratching it. So let me knock these out, do this one, and I'll go ahead and do the other side. I'm so sorry, but I forgot that I had left it on time lapse. So as I was recording and explaining exactly what I was doing, um, and I went to look back at the video, I was like, ugh. But put it in simple terms, what I did, you guys will be able to see it in the video, just kind of sped up, is just make sure that when you indent it, just go behind it, not try to put a lot of pressure because what's gonna happen is that you might cut into the gasket. Just enough to pressure where the where you feel like it's going through the vinyl. You're gonna be left with this little circular part right here. 
which all you're gonna do is just make sure that you're heating it. And the heat is just gonna make sure that it sticks right there. Once you have it all wrapped around, grab your blade. There we go. Looks good. Okay, now comes this part right here. Luckily, I um, I checked it out before because this part is actually the trickiest part. So, as you can, as you guys can see it on camera, this part actually goes inward. So to get around that issue, I give myself a little bit more room here. Just make sure that you don't cut all the way through, because if you cut through, then you're gonna leave yourself a crumb. Once you don't have as much tension, because you cut this area, the film should pretty much relax into that area. Then I use my heat gun. Grab your squeegee. You're gonna just tuck. Make sure it's all being covered. Tucking real nice in there. Okay, then you should have your indentation. Be very careful here because you don't want to mess up and show some chrome. Cut a little bit bigger if you need to and then cut as you go. So I run the heat gun over it, make sure everything's laid down. You're good to go. I thought this piece was gonna be a little bit trickier, but mainly the only issue you're really gonna run into is cutting this area. Just give yourself more film here. Don't cut straight over here. Cause you wanna give yourself enough room to where you can stretch. Cut this piece, stretch the film, tuck it in there. Easy enough. Most of it is gonna be flat. Just make sure you have your squeegee with you, have your knife. And if you don't, just even use like a you could even use like a credit card or something like that and you'll be good to go. finished up the other side and like it looks I mean look at it it looks like it was just meant to be which is good I like the OEM look to it I'm actually throwing a bonus for you guys so I said that I really don't like chrome so I'm gonna get rid of the emblems luckily I picked them up and I brought them with me boom picked them up off of eBay I know a lot of people are gonna be like oh, I should have got the real ones but honestly I'm not trying to spend like over a hundred dollars for some for some emblems. From the video that I was seeing online, it looks like they just kind of, you kind of just pop them off. Jeez. So 
so nothing is scratched, but I will say the tabs are gone. Take out these things. What I always suggest is anytime you guys have something with double sided tape, just grab your heat gun. If you happen to have one around. Put a like some somewhat good amount of heat on it. This is gonna make the glue stickier, so once you put it on. Damn, it looks so much better. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the rears. It's probably gonna be another set of tabs that are just gonna break off. Oh well. So I got it off, there was some leftover glue. I'm gonna try to remove it. Try, try to take it off with my thumb. Once I get it all taken care of, then I'll show you guys what it looks like once the M1's on there. Out with the old, in with the new. JDM m booms have been installed. Yeah. Get the blackout and the emblems. The car looks so much better. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm so glad I got rid of all that chrome and even the emblems. The new red emblems looks. If you like the video, go ahead and like it, subscribe, tell a friend, comment down below what you guys would love to see me do the SI next. It doesn't have to be vinyl wrap or tape related. It could be anything. I'm really leaning towards getting an aftermarket exhaust or just getting it louder because it's too quiet for me, but who knows. Until the next one, guys. Peace. <laughs>